Many people are going to get this simple math problem wrong. Actually, this problem is a great test of something called the order of operations. So if you understand the order of operations and you have these skills, these math skills, well, then you should be able to solve this problem correctly without using a calculator. Well, I'm John. I'm from Tablet Class Math. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm going to walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. All right, so the problem is we want to evaluate 9 minus 3 divided by 1 third plus 1, and we want to do this without the aid of a calculator. Now, if you think you have the right answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you exactly how to solve this problem step by step. So this problem is actually pretty easy if you understand this thing called the order of operations and, of course, basic mathematics as well. Now, what is a mathematical operation? Well, it's things that you can do with numbers like subtraction, division, and addition, and multiplication, powers, etc. So these things right here are called mathematical operations. And when you have a math problem, you have to be able to, to do the problem in the correct order or you will get the problem wrong. All right, so we have 9 minus 3 divided by 1 third plus 1. So what I did here is kind of look at uh, some orders in which we can do this problem. So we have three operations. So maybe we can start off by doing subtraction first, and then we'll do the division, and then lastly we can do the addition. So that's one order we can take, or maybe we can start off with addition, and then do the division, and then end with subtraction, or maybe we can start with division, and then go to subtraction, and then addition. So you can see here we have different paths or different orders in order to do this problem. So in order to get to the right answer, we have to take the right order. So in other words, we need to understand something called the order of operations. So to understand the correct order of operations, we need to understand this little phrase right here called PEMDAS. So this is an acronym. We have the letters P-E-M-D-A-S, and of course these stand for something. But really this is a checklist that goes from left to right. Now you can see here, I'm kind of explaining what this uh, checklist or this acronym is saying. But before I get into that, I want to give you a little phrase that's been around forever to help you remember PEMDAS. And that is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. One more time, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. All right, so we have P-E-M-D-A-S. Now, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponents, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. So let's go ahead and get into PEMDAS right now. So again, this is a checklist that goes from left to right. So you're going to scan your math problem, and you're going to look from left to right and see if your math problem has any of these operations. So the first thing is P, which again is parentheses. So parentheses look like this in mathematics. So you can have these type of parentheses, these type of brackets, or these type of squiggly brackets. And oftentimes you can have brackets inside of brackets. And the way this works is you're going to do the innermost brackets first and then work your way out. But some math problems do not have any parentheses or brackets. So if that's the case, you just skip to the next thing, which is E. All right, so E is exponents, but really you want to think of that as powers. Okay, so here we have 2 to the third power. This little number in the top right is called an exponent. This bottom number down here is called the base. So 2 to the third power means take 2 and multiply it by itself three times. Okay, so that is what a power is or what an exponent is. Now, again, not every math problem is going to have parentheses or powers, but if it does, you're going to do it in this order. All right, so that brings us to M and D. Now, notice I'm not just saying multiplication. I'm looking at M and D as a group. So the next thing that we need to determine in our problem is to see if we have any multiplication or division. This is a group. Now, the way this works is you're going to do whatever you see first from left to right. 
So if you have multiplication and division in your problem, you need to look at the order in which it's happening from left to right. So if you have multiplication first, then division next, well, you're going to do it in this manner. Or if you have division and then multiplication, you'll do it in this manner. So again, you really need to be paying attention to what's happening from first from left to right. And then lastly, we have addition and subtraction, and this works the same way. Now, there is a little bit of a uh, technical, th technical thing going on with addition and subtraction. Order really doesn't make a difference, but you have to be careful with subtraction as you can end up with positive and negative numbers like 6 minus 7 is the same thing as 6 plus a negative 7. So you can change all your subtraction uh, problems into addition, and then, of course, order doesn't matter. But it's probably a good habit just to kind of do things, again, from left to right. All right, so if you understand PEMDAS and the order of operations, well, this is going to be a very easy problem to solve. Okay, so now that we understand the order of operations or PEMDAS, we can think about our little kind of orders here, and we can see that this order is the correct order. We need to do division before any addition and subtraction. So we're going to start off with division, and then we see subtraction first from left to right uh, before we get into the addition. All right, so this is the correct order to do this problem. Now, uh, to get the right answer, all comes down to your ability to work with fractions and basic arithmetic. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. And of course, we'll put our little PEMDAS checklist up here just for good order. So I'm scanning this problem from left to right, and I'm looking to see, do we have any parentheses? No, we do not have any grouping symbols or parentheses in this problem. So we can move on to the next thing. And that, of course, is exponents or powers. Now, do we have any powers? No, we do not. So we can kind of scratch that off. Do we have any multiplication or division or multiplication and division? Okay, so whether you have multiplication only or division only, you have to take care of any multiplication or division or any multiplication and division before you get into any addition and subtraction. Okay, so we have division, so this is what we need to do first. So we have 3 divided by 1 third. So we're going to focus our attention to this part of the problem. All right, so we have 3 divided by 1 third. So if you don't know how to divide fractions, well, this is something that you would definitely want to review as fractions tend to give a lot of people problems, but dividing fractions is actually quite easy. All right, so how do we divide fractions? Well, the way this works is the following. We're going to change this division problem into multiplication by flipping the fraction to the right of the division operator. So here we have 3 divided by 1 third. So we're going to flip this fraction upside down, and that is going to be 3 over 1. And then we're going to change this from division to multiplication. Now we're going to think of this 3 as a fraction as well. So anytime you want to think of a number as a fraction, just put it over 1. Okay, so we have 3 over 1 times 3 over 1, or 3 times 3. Of course, the answer is 9. But just for good review, uh, let's just talk about how to multiply fractions. So the way you multiply fractions is you multiply the respective numerators, which is the top numbers of the fractions. So 3 times 3, of course, is 9. And you can put that over the product of the denominators. And that's, of course, going to be 1 times 1, which is 1. So 9 divided by 1 is 9. Okay, so this entire thing right here, 3 divided by 1 third is 9. So we're going to do this problem just uh, taking one step at a time. So now we're down to 9 minus 9 plus 1. Again, all of this right here in this little box is equivalent to 9. Okay, so 9 minus 9 plus 1, this is going to be very easy to solve. Now, again, you can kind of go from left to right, or you really want to go from left to right when it comes to multiplication, or excuse me, addition and subtraction. But we could just change this all into addition by changing this subtraction into addition and then putting this negative sign with that 9. So that's one way to think about it. But we'll go ahead and just do this from left to right. So 9 minus 9 is 0. 0 plus 1, of course, is 1. So 1 is our final answer. 
Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, I definitely have to give you a nice little happy face and A plus and a 100%. So a couple quick things here. When it comes to basic mathematics, I can tell you right now that uh, a lot of people really don't understand the order of operations. So you got to really understand PEMDAS and how to use it. And uh, the only way you're really going to get better at the order of operations is to do a lot of practice problems. Now, if you want to review your basic math skills and really kind of brush up on all this stuff, check out these two courses. I'm going to leave links to them in the description of this video. One is called my Math Foundations course. That's just a quick review of basic mathematics. But if you want to review basic math, plus a lot of algebra and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You'll find links to other courses in the description as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.